Good morning and welcome to this tutorial on reproduction efficiency in dairy operations. Reproduction efficiency is an important driver of economic efficiency of dairy operations. It is important because one, it fundamentally determines the rate of replacement animals available to the herd. High reproductive efficiency ensures that there will be more replacement opportunities for a dairy. It also more subtly dilutes animal maintenance over more pounds of milk production and we will see this visually in several analytics that I'll present in a little bit. Before we go into that it's important for us to review some important terminology. Days the first breeding is related to the voluntary weight in other words how much time after calving before those animals those cows ultimately enter into the breeding pools. Uh, is it 50 days, 60 days, 70 days? Estrus detection. What percent of eligible cows are observed in estrus or heat? The key word here is eligible cows. What percent of those do we see in heat on a 21 day uh, basis? Conception rate. What percent of cows bred have conceived? So what if we look at a population of cows that have been inseminated, what number of those are indeed pregnant. And lastly, pregnancy rate, or sometimes abbreviated as PRE-R, is the percent of eligible cows conceiving within a 21-day period of time. So pregnancy rate is really a function of the estrus detection rate, how quickly are we seeing cows every 21 days, and the conception rate, in other words, of those cows that we see and indeed breed, what percent of those get pregnant. Now calving interval is another term that is in the reproductive um, 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 uh, language and it is the time between calvings and can be presented in terms of months or days. Now what's important is this concept of dilution of maintenance costs. Every cow, adult cow, has feed costs for maintenance. 18 to 20 pounds of dry matter are essentially used to provide energy, approximately 10 m cows of energy per day, for that adult cow just to move around and to maintain herself before she produces any milk. We also have a replacement heifer that is uh, being fed in other pens behind that, that adult cow. We can view these costs as being fixed costs relative to milk production. Cows are then fed additional feed for milk production on top of these maintenance and replacement costs. This is important because reproduction efficiency is going to dilute these maintenance and replacement costs ultimately over more pounds of milk. Now to illustrate these concepts, this is a analytic or dashboard of a lactation curve of a cow. So we see we have the lactation curve, um, first milk production, then it goes up and curves and comes down, and the blue area represents the gestation for that cow. So this is a pretty uh, much almost nine months, and so the calving interval for this cow would be 12.6 months. It would go from uh, day one all the way up here to when she recalves. And what we see is as we extend that calving interval, so as I move this calving interval out, okay, uh, we can see that yes her milk production is coming down and then we have this uh, time period of gestation that her, her we're seeing that a large percent of her life is spent then at lower milk yields and so this becomes critical when we look at her milk production per day so I'm going to put up some uh, lactation dials here that show what is her milk production per day and so if we have a very short calving interval we can see that her milk yield per day is very high this is her milk yield over the entire lactation. This is her milk yield per day of pregnancy. We see they're almost similar because a large portion of her lactation cycle is indeed uh, uh, happening when she's pregnant. Now as we extend that calving interval, we see that these numbers uh, drop precipitously. In other words, the proportion of time that she's at lower milk yields is increasing and so her average milk yield over the entire lactation decreases. Another way that to look at this is from an economic perspective. 
if I put up what the maintenance cost and replacement cost are per hundred weight of mill, here at very low calving intervals, we can see that these uh, numbers are very low. In other words, the cost of maintaining those cows relative to the hundred weights of milk that they produce is small. But as we extend that calving interval, we are paying more days, more days we are paying these fixed uh, maintenance and replacement costs, and yet we're not receiving or not uh, uh, producing uh, that much greater milk. And so these costs go up directly, and those indeed affect the bottom line and are the source of the uh, economic inefficiency that we observe on, on many herds as a consequence of poor reproductive efficiency. I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, please email me, davidgalligan um, at vet.upenn.edu. Thank you.